Before recalibration, it is important that you are in a clean environment and are confident in removing the Photec Plus lamp. To recalibrate, select the custom calibration icon and press enter. A tick will then appear to confirm the selection. Pressing enter allows the user to enter the custom calibration menu. Select the flashing lamp by pressing enter. The screen will then show the image to the right with a flashing number and a lamp with an arrow. This is asking you to remove the instrument's lamp. Once the lamp is removed, select enter. The flashing number will then count down. Once complete, the delay symbol will appear before a tick symbol to show that the test has been completed successfully. Refit the lamp and select escape. Scroll down and press enter to select the flashing zero. Press enter on the instrument. Remove the caps from both ends of the carbon canister. Remove the probe and filter from the instrument and fit the carbon canister. Alternatively, a known clean air supply can be used. When using the carbon canister, beware that it simply pushes onto the end fitting. No force and no turning is required. Press the enter key to start the zero process. A counter will count down showing how long the canister needs to remain connected. At the end of the countdown, a tick will appear indicating that the zero has been accepted. Press escape. Disconnect the carbon canister and replace the cap ends. The useful life of the carbon canister will be shortened if the canister is open to atmosphere for prolonged periods. Replace the filter and probe onto the instrument. Scroll down and select the flashing VOC. Press enter to display the screen which shows the gas and the gas concentration you have previously set up via the ION PC software. Select enter. A screen will show VOC, a gas bottle and a flashing highlighted number. Turn on the calibration cylinder, connect the instrument to the calibration gas and press enter. The number will begin to count down showing how long the instrument needs to be presented with the gas. A tick will appear indicating that the calibration has been accepted. Escape out of the calibration menu. Turn off the calibration gas cylinder, replace the instrument's probe. The Photic Plus is now ready to be function tested before use. To perform a function test on the unit, switch off the instrument to store the new calibration data in secure memory. On startup, the instrument will read the calibration data is stored in memory. This ensures that no false calibration readings are in use. Allow the instrument to start up completely and view the reading as displayed on the instrument. Position the blue carbon canister zero filter on the inlet port of the instrument and ensure that the numeric display indicates between 0 and 0 0.2 ppm. Replace the carbon canister with the filter. Turn on the calibration gas cylinder and connect the 100 ppm span gas and ensure the instrument displays 100 ppm. Turn off the calibration gas. This completes the function test of the instrument after a calibration has been completed. If you are not successful in calibrating the instrument, check that the carbon canister is not contaminated or that the calibration gas canister is not low or empty.